So this is a, an example for the 17.7 homework. I just took the first couple problems from the homework and I changed the numbers. So uh, number one is uh, says Jordan earns $15 each weekday for chores she completes after school. Her mother pays her another $20 on Saturday and $15 on Sunday for helping with her catering business. Is Jordan's budget balanced? Explain. Now, for a budget to be balanced, the expenses need to equal the income. Now, all of this tells us her income. All of this tells us her expenses. So let's start out calculating her income. So if I had a calendar here, and I'm just using this to illustrate how I get the numbers. Um, making seven boxes is hard. So let's start over here. I'm going to do it down here. I'm going to make six, and then add another box. Yes. Okay. So this will be Monday through Wednesday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. <clears throat> so first it says, now I'm going to use cubes on this. This is going to help me to figure out what's going on, because there's a lot going on here. So... Uh, I circle the numbers. There's 15. Ooh, let me redo that one. $15 each weekday for chores she completes after school. Her mother pays $20 on Saturday and $15 on Sunday for helping with her catering business. Is Jordan's budget balanced? So now I'm going to... So I underline the question. I circle all numbers. Now I'm going to box important words. And this is the part that really tells you what to do. Uh, I'll say each week a day. Um, earns $15 each weekday. Her mother pays her $20 on Saturday and $15 on Sunday for helping with the catering business. Is her budget balanced? Okay. <clears throat> so, each weekday she makes $15. So I know the weekdays are Monday through Friday. Those are work days. So she makes $15 every day, every weekday. Okay. Now, Saturday, she makes $20. Sunday, she makes $15. So, I just need to add all these up to find out her income. So, I notice 15 shows up uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So, I'm going to just uh, multiply that. Oops, I wrote 16. There we go. 15 times 6. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry the 3. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. So that's 90. And then she has another $20. So if I add 90 plus 20, um, that's $110. So she makes $110. Um, income, 110 now I need to find out her expenses, and that's all in here. So, she has savings, charity, uh, pet food, hobby supplies, and tennis lessons. So I just need to add these up. If I look at this bar graph, uh, it actually puts the numbers at the top, so I can just add those up. So 40 plus 30, I'm just going to add them two at a time. 40 plus 30 is 70. Uh, 36 plus 24, 6 plus 4 is 10, 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6, that's 60. And then there's another 40. So if I add 60 plus 40, I get 100. And if I add another 70, I get 170. So expenses equals 170 in this case. So... I would say it is not balanced because these two amounts are not equal. Uh, she's spending too much money or not making enough income, or maybe a combination of both. So my answer is no, because her expenses are greater than her income. I'm lazy, so I'm abbreviating, but anyone looking at this can understand what that means. Income is $110. Um, um, expenses are $170. So I'm spent, I, I have too many expenses. So and then it says next week, Jordan has a tennis match on Saturday. It cannot help with her mother. 
what would be the difference between her income that week and her expenses? Now, what do I make on Saturday? She, she's not going to be there on Saturday, so she can't make the money that, that she would normally make. So it says here she makes $20 on Saturday. So um, if she normally makes $110, I'm going to subtract 20 from that. She would make $90. Okay. So now her income becomes $90 and her expenses are $170. So I'm going to subtract those to find out how much, how far she is away from balancing her budget. Zero minus zero is zero. I can't take nine from seven, so I borrow. Um, 17 minus nine is eight. So it uh, looks like $80 is um, the difference. And the way that I would say that, I would say expenses are $80 more. And that is how you do number one and number two on the homework, and the rest is very similar.